Here we are going to learn about CSS. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. CSS basically describes how HTML elements are displayed on the screen. So for instance, this heading that you see must have some sort of a style uh, which is actually creating it, such as um, font size, font name, line height, all of those sort of stuff. Even the layout that you see, the divs, um, the sizes, etc., all actually have some sort of a property applied, which is why you actually see them um, displayed like this. So let's just actually further look at the CSS. I'll actually use the Visual Studio. And for that, I have a simple HTML already included. There are three ways. In fact, we should first look at the how, uh, what you call as the syntax actually. So I'll just give you an example. Mm. Okay, so let's do that. So we have an H1 element, and if you want to apply some sort of a color to it, uh, maybe green color. So over here, the first thing that you see it is um, what you call as the H1 is basically the selector. So it is selecting all the H1 elements. Then this whole block is basically um, the declaration. This is the property of the this particular selector, and this is basically their value. Now let's let's see what happens when we actually um, check this over the live server. So let's try and look at it. Um, let me just open it up over the browser. So we have an index file. We'll take it over here and see how it looks. So you can see the heading is changed to green color. Now, before we even, before I even actually show you um, some other uh, properties or settings, I'll tell you there are three ways you can actually add the CSS, no. okay? One is basically the external CSS, which is normally like you have a file and then you connect the HTML, LM, HTML um, file to it. And then obviously this is called, like you reference it and you link it up. And then the other method is this one, which is called as within that particular file or HTML, you actually define the inline CSS, internal CSS. And the last one is an inter, is basically the inline CSS. So inline CSS is something like this. So now if I want to make this color blue, now it will actually override this and has a priority on top. So if I go and refresh now, you will see the color being changed. Now let's look at like how you can, so this was your um, basically the internal CSS, this was your inline one. And now what if I want to actually add a, uh, what you call as the external style sheet. So let's just create one file. Uh, I'll call it main.css. Okay, so CSS file is created. Now, if let's suppose if I actually apply anything like maybe the font size and make it 22 pixels or something, if I try and refresh, nothing happens. Why? Because we haven't linked it up with the uh, are in our HTML document. So in order to do that, we will reference it. So we can use some, we can actually link it up. So um, since our, since the folder is same, so we'll just write main.css. Now if we try and refresh, oops, the size changes. Why? Because we have linked it up with the HTML document. Now, what more can be done? So let's just add a few more stuff. Maybe testing paragraph. Graph. Sorry for it. Okay. So what if we want to apply some sort of font sizing to it even? And we go and refresh. So you can see if I increase more. Uh, make it 50 pixels. Okay, so it's increasing. Let's see, let's look at some more properties. Um, for this, what I'll do it is, 
I'll get some text. This site is pretty useful if in case you just need the dummy text. Um, so we just copy all of it. Select all, click to copy. We'll replace this. Okay, now if we go and check, you can see how, um, I mean, obviously uh, it's a very large paragraph. Maybe we want to reduce the fonts to 20 pixel uh, or maybe more, maybe a little more or less. Then there are some other properties. For example, we can use line height, uh, this one and define it so you will see uh, the line height between the paragraph is increasing because I had it defined if I increase more uh, you will see um, change over here even same goes if in case you want to apply something to a certain class so what if I give it uh, what if they are let's say just cut it up and what if we have two paragraphs right and one paragraph has an heading, uh, sorry, has a class name para. So we just see two paragraphs now. And what what we want is that the we want to apply the uh, style to the only uh, element with the what you call as the class para. So we will actually now let's suppose I think the best easiest way is to change the color and check. So let's see what happens. So, okay, you can see the color is changed. Um, similarly, if you want to define the width, you can even do that. Maybe I just want it to be 80% of the screen. So I can do that. And uh, you can say it's, you see it's reduced. So like that, you will definitely study a lot more during the challenges, um, different properties. And the uh, reason why I have given you this demo is, to give you a like a sort of an introduction how style sheets get get used i can just copy all of it and paste it here okay and save and save and you will see it it just gets applied automatically from the main style sheets so that was um, i mean that is basically the whole purpose Hopefully, um, you will have a good time solving the challenges. Best of luck.